Hi everyone, um, this is Mike here again. Uh, today, today I'm going to be a video, uh, bring you a video on the uh, Lenovo laptop that has Lenovo Y510P. This initially was running on the SSD itself, uh, but like what I said, because I have a um, extra 32 gig SSD that I actually pull out from the HP Stream Mini that I was there and I can't actually find any usage for it so so since this originally this machine is running on a 24 gig plus hard disk hybrid drive so why not I just take take use make use of that actually uh, the SSD to do get SSD to act, act as a cache drive for this machine so today I'm gonna bring you ways for you to actually set up this machine uh, Windows 10 running the uh, Express Cache software uh, as the uh, SSD cache software itself in order to make this uh, machine uh, boot up faster by running on a hard disk so let's get on with it uh, before I before I go on with the next step is that um, I do I do actually add additional um, because the original machine uh, the okay first we'll need to unlock this the um, floppy uh, I mean like not floppy the CD-ROM drive it's uh, it's not working anymore so I actually bought this uh, caddy the hard drive caddy kit that I have I'll leave a link down below where you can buy this so that I can add in additional hard disk so I have one hard disk here and I have one hard disk inside here uh, uh, that is a Seagate Barracuda hard disk inside here as well as the uh, 32 gig uh, SSD that it has uh, for the cache drive itself so let's just put this back on and let's just lock it back and just close it in so let's get on to the PC for the rest of the setup process hey guys um, so so basically what you need to do in order to enable the SSD first of all you need to make sure the SSD is, uh, is cleared off before installing the Express Cache software um, what you need to do, this is the SSD drive that is in here so what you can do is basically the volume needs to be deleted so they will basically use up the whole volume when you install Express Cache for this so logically you need to delete the volume yes I mean this is the state that the uh, disk needs to be during the installation of the Express Cache so you can actually use it for your uh, cache drive itself when they install in order to I mean like reduce all the settings and stuff you want to do so when you are in this state when you install express cache uh, it will do everything automatically and it will boot up for the first time and you already have the cache drive enabled and stuff so that is to save up your time doing all the settings and stuff then after that what you do is once you have set, set it up properly what you need to do is just to install this uh, express cache for Windows 10 I'll leave a link down below where you can download this so once you have downloaded this and installed it um, so what you need to do is just to restart your machine and it should be automatically uh, installed and configured right so there are there are a few ways uh, of checking it after you get booted up to see whether it's it's done so you can go to the um, uh, command prompt but it needs to be run as administrator you can actually check for eccmd dash info as you can see now the um, they have all the stuff that's available here um, as you can see I have a 32, 30, 32 gig space SSD they actually configure the whole thing mounted yes and it's actually in use and what's the percentage of read percentage and write percentage that is being used now so as you can see now the in use volume size is 5 gig and the free space is 24 gig itself so once you see this message means that it's used up uh, all the, the drive itself so CCMD you enter here as you can see there's minus partition and size and stuff like that so you can actually do a ECCMD dash partition in order to repartition the whole drive so that they will use up the whole SSD drive that's available on, on this end itself so but normally if you just install it fresh um, it should actually create uh, something uh, I mean, create and, and use up the whole SSD drive 
as you can see now what I have I didn't actually do a lot of settings I just installed the program and I just reboot it and everything gets configured this way so of course for those who have issues doing this there is another method that you can actually use if Express, Express Cache is not working for you you can actually use the um, built-in Windows features to do this uh, definitely it's not the Intel Smart Response stuff because that is not supported by this laptop and I'll show you what is the next step that you can do or the next options for you if Express, Express Cache is not working there is another option for you if Express Cache really don't work for you for this machine itself so you can actually just do a simple volume for this and just click on next and just create a volume out of this uh, this might not be the best way of doing so but um, yeah but you can actually just do it this way um, you'll be formatting the cache so you have a new volume as this so once you are done with that you should have the volume available in your in your uh, PC itself volume G and stuff so you can actually do the uh, ready boost feature use this device dedicate this device to ready boost and reserve for system speed then you can use up all the drive and stuff and uh, you just configure this too then you're done you can try to do this then you can just shut it down and boot it up and see whether that helps to increase your speed and stuff but logically um, I use Express Test myself so there are there isn't any big problems that I face so I will keep using that but for those that have problems with that this is another option that you can try and you can let me know in the comments down below whether this option gives you a boost in your performance when you are big compared to you running on a standard hard disk itself so I think that's all for today's video if you have any queries questions and stuff just leave a comment down below and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!